monsters, monsters, monsters. I love monsters. Gonna make some more monsters for Dungeons and Dragons. I'm just doing my sound check, making sure everything is working all right. Um, <clears throat> this is, um, I've been doing quite a few of these because I'm on holiday. So if you were wondering why there's so many, that's kind of pretty much the reason. How's it going, Tom? Tyler the God, how are you doing? All right, so um, normally I would, the start time will be down in the description once this gets published to YouTube at some point. Um, so you can skip past all of this. So I will get started in a second. Normally I present everything first and then I open it up to questions, but that's not what I do with these. You are welcome to chat with me as I try to make a chaos beast. <laughs> um, so we're going to get started and go from there gonna be a lot of fun I can see it now I can see I can I'm just I can imagine it in my mind it's in my mind I, I can see it right now okay so here we go hi welcome to how to d, d my name is Fred Wheeler and today I want to make a Dungeons and Dragons miniature I'm gonna make a chaos beast I know what you're thinking Fred um, you've had a little bit of trouble recently making some miniatures and I'm like well, this has got tentacles and eyes and mouths and nothing needs to be in a particular location. And I, I picked up an image from Pathfinder of like a chaos beast. And I'm sure somebody's saying, well, Fred, is there a chaos beast for Dungeons and Dragons 5e? And honestly, who cares? It's a cool creature. It's it's really sort of uh, icky and tentacly and eye and things like that. So I picked up a picture, of, I think this is from an older version of Dungeons and Dragons. But if there isn't a stat block for it, we should definitely make one at some point. So I looked around, see if I could find a miniature that I could base it on. And I did find a miniature as it happens. It's not um, an hugely impressive, but it has tentacles on it. It does have like a mouth and it's got eyeballs in really unusual locations and so I'm going to try and make my own. I've got myself a base, I cut this out from uh, MDF board which is medium density fibre board. I used a, a hole saw to cut it out and then just sanded and trimmed to the side so I've got hundreds of these, well not hundreds but a lot of these that I can use now because uh, you just get a sheet of, of um, medium density fi um, fibre board and you're away, you've got tr truckloads of bases now and it, it'll last a long time. So I'm going to try and base my miniature off this, kind of. I decided I would go with a, a mothball for the main part of the body. So a wooden mothball is going to be my base for the, 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 the body as such. And uh, on top of that, what I want to do is I want to drill in here and put on a couple of tentacles. So I've got myself some paper clips ready to go. I'm going to go with the stiff ones. I decided that, well, should I put five on there? It's too many. Should I put four? Uh, it's too even. Should I put three? And I felt like, like three is actually a reasonable number. I think that's going to work the best. So I've decided I'm going to use three tentacles that are sort of sticking out. And the rest will be sort of, sort of laid around the creature and base and so forth. So first thing, hot glue. Take this. And I'm going to place the glue here and just stick that into position just to start with. And I'm not going to be quite smack in the center. It's going to be slightly off to the side, so I'm going to let that dry. Grab my um, paper clips. For those of you who don't know, sometimes these work out, sometimes they don't. But I feel fairly confident that I can handle this. This is, uh, this is something anybody could do, right? How hard can it be to get a ball make sort of like a, a funny looking body on it and then give it teeth a mouth and teeth and some eyeballs which don't need to be any any you know they don't have to be in a particular location or anything so i'm straightening these out but they will get bent mamma <coughs> mamma mia mamma mia here we go so straighten that out and i've also got some tin foil because i thought well i don't really want the body to have to too much putty on it if I have to make too much putty, it's going to get more expensive. I've got glue. glue. Hot glue is certainly a lot cheaper than putty. So I can do some of the work with that. I'm going to take these and I'm going to snip them. Like so. I'm going to snip that one in half. Um, I'm only going to be using three of these. So even though I've got four, it doesn't mean I'm going to be using the fourth one. And the length of them, don't worry about it because it actually doesn't need to be that long, right? So we've got those ready to go. <clears throat> now, tin foil. This should be sort of in place now. 
I'm going to be using some tin foil to wrap around that very shortly. I think about two pieces, two pieces of tin foil. I've just broken it up into squares and rectangles. Maybe three pieces. Okay, so next, drill. I have myself one of these handy dandy citadel drills. I selected my drill bit <clears throat> to make sure I would be able to uh, drill a hole for the the paper clip. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill into the side of it without drilling myself. <clears throat> the idea is that I want the tentacles to be near the bottom rather than all at the top. Although I'm going to stick maybe one near the top just for fun. Got to have a little bit of variation, right? The rest of the tentacles will just be sausages that I make out of milliput and drape around the uh, the miniature. Okay, so I'm drilling really, really deep. This is to make sure that the uh, the tentacle is nice and strong. There's a hole already here. I'm tempted to just drill into there and just get it deeper. So we will. This will be the one on the side. Side and top, side and top, something like that. Mm -hmm -hmm. So I'm hoping that people enjoyed the uh, the video on <clears throat> Warriors and Weapons, which is going to be coming out in July, which which is essentially designed for children to introduce them to the game rather than adults. Now I know a few people are like, well, yeah, but I, what I wanted was I want to play a character options for um, for myself. I don't really want to see a, a book for kids. You know, I don't want kids at my table, but you know, I think that Dungeons and Dragons needs to be viewed as an all-encompassing hobby rather than just something that is played by nerds alone and nobody else, and nobody else should be allowed to enter the hobby, and um, all these products are just bad. I had already done a video explaining what I thought would happen to Dungeons and Dragons in terms of the future, and I think this pretty much confirms that we're going to see warriors and weapons, uh, we'll see monsters and creatures, uh, there'll be a Dungeons and Tombs, there'll be a Wizards and Spells, and then there'll more than likely there will be a, I mean, I had viewed it as more of a Dungeons and Dragons 5.5 rather than Dungeons and Dragons 6th Ed Edition. But I think that is what we're going to see coming out. Anyway, it is all very exciting, and uh, no doubt we'll find out uh, soon enough what the, uh, the real story is when they are ready to announce all those sorts of things. They usually don't do it too soon. They usually leave it a little while before they start letting people know what's going on. Okay, so now I need to stick these bits of wire in there. I'm going to use hot glue. I think that is the smartest way, and then I'll bend my bits and pieces around with the pliers. So let's grab the hot glue gun. I don't need to be too too worried about what I do with it, right? Because it's it's a chaos creature, a creature of chaos. Try not to burn myself. And then I will just mush that down a little bit so it's not standing out too proud. And then I grab another one of these little things. Super piece of, piece of cake stuff. Look at this. This is going to be easy as. I know you're thinking, well, Fred, it looks more like a satellite. It doesn't really look like a monster. It looks more like a satellite. Are you sending, sending Sputnik back into space? No, I'm not sending Sputnik back into space. It is not a satellite. It's going to be a monster. You wait. Now, did I get that deep enough? Well, maybe I did. I did push it in. I'm sure I did. Okay. All right. Well, we'll soon find out. It'll fall out if it doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, dear. <clears throat> okay. So next, where is my next hole? Oh, there it is. You'll notice that I'm only using three, and I'm putting them in unusual locations, uh, which is then going to be twisted round. Yep. It's starting to look like a satellite now. Communication satellite? Hmm, maybe. Maybe it is a communication satellite. No, it's going to be a monster. Chaos monster, absolutely. So, just wiggle that stuff around there a little bit. Good, good, good. I'm happy with that. Okay, so get rid of that. I don't need that anymore. I probably won't need my drill, so I'll get that out of the way. Grab my tin foil, and I'm just waiting for this to sort of dry and harden. 
Um, I have also every intention of putting some eyes on this thing. I don't want to do that just yet, uh, but I have various beads that I can use. And I've got a bit of, uh, it was a little bit of balled up putty that I had uh, prepared and ready to be used as an eyeball. I don't know why can't I can't find it now. There it is. There it is. Yeah, gotcha. You can use that as an eyeball. And I've got lots of little beads as well for eyeballs as well. So I'll, I'll open them in a second. I feel like if I open them now, I'm going to wind up with too many things floating around on my uh, table. All right, the desk is ready. All right, so tin foil time. All I'm going to do is scrunch it around things to give it a little bit more uh, body rather than just being a ball because I want to give it some unusual shape and the tin foil is strong when you press it together and it'll also help me create some unusual shape to it and if I press it in tight enough it'll make it very very strong and then I can go over that with some hot glue and then we start getting on to the fun bit which is hopefully going to be twisting things around and using some putty mama mama mia mm -hmm. shunk so you can see nothing to it piece of cake easy easy peasy any moment now um, aliens will contact me and you'll be able to see uh, that this is definitely a chaos beast or creature come from the I don't know where, where does it come from the far realm some realm anybody's realm ready to eat somebody okay so I've covered that that's given it a little bit of shape I'm gonna ball this up and sort of make part of the body a little bit bigger on one side so it's less geometrical like so yep and that that is going to glue into place once I get my tools organized last time I did this I burnt myself so I make sure I have my glue ready so I go glue and then grab it and then shove it into position and then make sure I pat it into place so it's good and tight. I'll go over it again with some glue very shortly, but that's all good. Okay, and uh, where's some more? Uh, I maybe I'll need a couple more pieces of tin foil. Good thing I had a few spare ones. How's it going, Joe? As you can see, I'm back again. I'm a glutton for punishment as it happens. Otherwise, I wouldn't keep doing this, right? <laughs> ha, ha, ha. <laughs> oh, there's no such thing. <clears throat> okay. There we go, it's uh, make that there, and I feel like I'm going to sort of ball this thing up here and I'm going to shove that something like there. I feel like that's a good idea, we'll do that there, I'm going to stick that in place first. Dear Jesus, how, how's it going? Evening Joe. Alright, everybody's getting to know each other, which is good. Pearsham, what's up my noobs, noobers, noobers? Uh, there's no noobers here. Uh, we're just uh, making uh, monsters. Uh, grab your own projects if you want to do some painting or crafting or whatever. I'm not going to mind. I'm just doing my own thing. Squidge it in. Okay, and then this is going to go there. Maybe slightly off to the side a little bit so it's less ge geometrical. Hmm. <sighs> How did you like Critical Role, uh, Joe? Um, are you talking about me? How did I like Critical Role? I watched uh, the Critical Role playing. Yeah, no, it was it was it was fine. I I, uh, I generally enjoy most of their stuff. Sometimes sometimes it reminds me of uh, the fact that Dungeons and Dragons, in my view, is not really a spectator sport. And um, I'm playing Dungeons and Dragons tonight, so I'll be looking forward to the opportunity to actually play the game rather than watch somebody else play the game okay so mine is a lot bigger I realize guys so don't get too freaked out now I'm going to just cover this thing with hot glue to give it some unusual shape and and I'm gonna start with the top and that'll oh I'm gonna need another glue stick I knew I would which is why I am prepared Stick my glue gun together and then I put that there and the trick is going to be making sure I don't get too carried away with the glue or not running out of glue when I don't and when I need to have it which 
could well happen if I'm not careful. So as you can see, there's nothing technical about what I'm doing here. Will it look any good? Well, you, you will only know when I'm finished. Okay. I think the glue is just needing to melt a little bit more. Uh, Peter Sham, just like a Boy Scout. Yeah. I don't know much about the Boy Scouts. I was never actually part of the Boy Scouts. I live way too far away for anything for that to be likely to happen. If we wanted to do anything, we just walked in and did it. Into the bush, and went down to the beach, whatever. Okay, so, um, I'm just making, I'm going to come back to that, but I feel like that hot glue is just not quite ready to, um, to, to squirt through. So I'm not going to do that just yet. Instead, I'm going to put this off to the side. I've got this stuff called a milli putt, which I've used many times before. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix that up and I'm going to make quite a bit of it because I need to actually cover the tentacles that I've got planned. So we'll ditch that over there and we'll get a knife. Uh, Joe, tonight we're making a Chaos Beast. I'm making one of these things. It's like, a, it's got eyes, it's got teeth, it's got tentacles. I've been talking about making one for a little while, so now's the time. And there we go. And I am I'm all prepared for tomorrow's um, player video, which dungeon masters are welcome to show up for, which will be about building better relationships with your dungeon master and other players at the table. I was actually. Um, quite pleased to see that a lot of people were more interested in that topic than some of the, some of the other topics that I had put up, uh, which which I thought was um, quite telling, you know. I was expecting people to want me to do another Dungeons and Dragons combat tutorial. So I'm, I'm just mixing this up because it's got a bit, a bit of a hard film on the outside and I want to get rid of that. So I'm mixing it up and then I'll get another, the other side of the compound and then we'll put it together and we should be ready to go. But yes, I'm, I'm really pleased that I'm all ready to go for tomorrow. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll do that live and people can join in if they want. Yeah, exactly. Relationships are very important. What's that, uh, dear Jesus? Uh, I won't be able to tune in on that one since it's game night tomorrow. Well, uh, this, that's cool, man. Y you know, I've, I've said it before that this channel isn't necessarily, you don't have to watch everything, not everything is going to appeal to everybody. I do such a, a range of different things and also because they're live, um, you know, it's an opportunity to interact with me. But if you're not, not around then it's fine because they, I put all the live streams up, they're all there. Uncut and then I trim things down and you get some edited videos later on. Okay, so I've covered this thing. It's looking like a big, huge mass, I do realize. I think it's going to look better once I actually get to the point where I'm putting tentacles on it. Uh, dear Jesus, uh, time to see if players will go to Crag, Moor, Castle, or Thunder Tree. Oh, okay. It'll, um, it'll be telling, won't it? It'll be interesting to see what they do. I always find it interesting the decision-making process that players um, have. As a dungeon master, you think it's going to work a particular way, and it doesn't always work that way. In fact, it very rarely does, um, even if you, they partly do what you were expecting. Joe, I'm going out to um, McShay's for a few drinks uh, tomorrow night after work. Oh, good for you. I mean, don't, go, don't miss that. You can always um, watch my stuff later on. Don't have to, you don't have to show up for that stuff. You've got to keep the um, the pathway clear. Friendships and family are all, all very important. And um, part of building relationships. You know, it's, um, it's one of those things I think people forget that if you don't actually keep the pathway clear, then uh, how can you possibly have a decent relationship with the people you're playing Dungeons and Dragons with? Okay, so I'm just going to put the pussy away for now. 
I've got to do some bending because I've got these things hanging off it and they need to be bent into shapes that I feel are appropriate for my, my monster. So I'm going to bend that oop, that way. And it's not going to be this long. For those of you who are wondering, Fred, that looks really long. Are you sure that's a good idea? No, I'm not sure that it's a good idea. I know it's not a good idea. But I wanted to have some tentacles that were a little bit more prominent in terms of uh, where they were. And I thought this was probably the easiest way to make that happen. I also didn't want them to get in the way of everything else. So I've got to make sure I don't get too carried away or make them too long. Because that's one of the things I've discovered when I've been making tentacles for something like the, uh, the Roper is I went got too carried away and made tentacles way too long. I mean they're 50 feet long I know but I didn't need to make them 50 feet on the miniature did I? Um, not that I did but it's they were getting they were getting a bit a bit long just a teeny weeny weeny bit long. Okay and then we'll trim trim there you guys will let me know if you think the tentacle does not look like it's uh, the right to position. We can always change things around. You can always give me some feedback. I don't want to get in the, in the way of this because I'm going to put the mouth there and I want the mouth to be exposed so I can get at it. Okay, so that is one tentacle which I am going to just glue into place. Make sure that I, uh, it doesn't move around too much because it was moving. There we go, it's good enough. And actually, I wonder if I can get away with um, just putting a bit of hot glue along there while I'm working. Might mean I'll need to use less putty, which would be really good. I'm, I'd be happy if that was the case. Okay, so this one here, I feel like I'm gonna wind him round, give that a bit more of a curve and go down rather than up. Because I don't want to um, bring it out too far to the outside of the miniature base. Otherwise, it's just going to get in the way when I'm trying to put it up against something else. So we'll, uh, we'll wind that round. And then and there is getting Mr. Flubber. He's going to be ready anytime. <laughs> ready anytime. Uh, what's that, Joe? I've I've done Thun Tree. They haven't uh, haven't did done Cragmore Castle yet. Oh, okay, all right. For those of you who have showed up who are playing Lost Mine of Fandalva, be careful. There might be spoilers um, revealed uh, in this video. It tends to be the case. People like to talk about stuff, and um, I often have a lot of dungeon masters who ask questions in these. And when you're well, welcome to talk about that sort of stuff because I'm I'm happy to do so if you want me to. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm busy, but I'm not that busy. So let's just put a bit of glue down this way. Just to help hold that in place. I'll do that again. I might be able to get away with uh, using significantly less um, putty if I can cover the tentacles with hot glue in, uh, in portions. Which would be really, really helpful. To reduce, reduce the amount of uh, work required. And... Oh, there's a little bit of an exposed area of tin foil. We'll just cover that. And exposed section of um, tin foil layer as well. And exposed section of tin foil layer as well. Okay, all right, now, next tentacle. Uh, decisions time. I have to decide where I want it to go. I feel like um, slightly up. So I bend it up. Uh, what's that? Sorry, I missed that. Uh, dear Jesus. Make um, curvy S shape would be good for tentacle. Yep, let's do with the curvy S shape. Uh, and some changes in, I think the changes in, um, in height as well. So, single and niganoga. Okay, so let's just, it's a little bit too far. Still want it to be essy shapey, but not too essy shapey and not too 
too much trouble. Um, let's trim that there. Okay, all right, so we've got a tentacle there, we've got a tentacle here. That's, I think that's not too bad. We'll get the uh, hot glue and add a little bit more there. Um, what's that? Um, nice, did they go there to meet the droid? Oh, warning for those people who are players who don't want spoilers. There's, there, there, there might be some discussions taking place that you don't want to hear about. Uh, or your dungeon master doesn't want you to hear about, probably more importantly. Okay, so that's glued there, and we'll do the same thing over here. And while I'm waiting for that to set, or at least drip around, <laughs> it's going to be a drip. I'm going to mix this. Mix this together, and we don't need the pliers anymore. I don't think I'll need the knife out, so I'll just push that in so I don't hurt myself. Uh, da, 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 da. Dear Jesus, would uh, low temp uh, glue sticks work just as good for this project? I honestly don't think it's make any difference. I'm not using special um, uh, special glue sticks, if that makes any sense. I'm just I just bought a glue stick gun and some glue sticks, and yeah. Joe, uh, yeah, he'd he'd help them them navigate the most optional op optimal path to the dragon. <laughs> yeah, God. yeah, that's uh, that's not very nice, Joe. Yeah, that's not very nice. It's funny. It's funny, but yeah, <laughs> yeah. Just walk this way. Why does the door have teeth? Ah <laughs> uh, dear, Pearsham, um, have you thought about getting a three D printer? I have thought about it, and it's not going to happen because I just don't make enough money. And the the problem I feel, and the reason why I do these videos is there's a whole bunch of people around the world. Not everybody lives in the United States or in Canada or New Zealand or Australia or the UK and can buy miniatures where it, you can't you can't even get them shipped to their country online. You, they don't come into the country or they're just hugely expensive and something like a 3D printer is just not an option, which is why I do these videos the way I do them. It's so that people who don't have that option um, can make their own stuff. And still feel that they you know they can use miniatures at the table if they wanted to. So um, I probably won't. I know Joe thinks I should invest in one, but yeah, it just it's it's space and just logistics. Um, yes, that's right. My hands are the 3D printer. That's we're trying to encourage people to just use their fingers. All right, so let's get the glue, and um, I'm going to hot glue again along the tentacles not very far each time I'm just doing a little bit of it rather than trying to do too much and it'll just stop sort of drip off because that would be just a pain and then we'll attack a few locations that have lost the, the hot glue from them with a the glue gun okay now for those of you who are wondering, how am I going to make the mouth? Well, what I had decided was I would actually uh, use the putty, form like a sausage, and then turn it into a donut. And then once I had a donut uh, shape going on, I could then blend that into the body and then stick some teeth in it. And ba -da, she's she's sorted. So, so sausage, sausage rolling. Hang on, let's just move that out of the way so you can see what I'm doing. So sausage. Mm -hmm. And he can have big juju lips, it doesn't matter because I'm going to sort of blend it all in anyway. So big juju lipsies, the teeth and the mouth doesn't have to be that long. We can actually give it a tongue as well. Let's just break off a little bit and make a tongue. It's a liquory tongue. Yeah, he wants to give you give you a good time. Good time, liquory kiss. A liquory kiss from the, the Chaos Beast. Uh, and now we'll, we'll flatten it. So that it looks more like a tongue. I will put in uh, sort of a, a, da a dot in it later. We'll just that'll do for now. That's my tongue, and then let's get the mouth sorted. I feel like that's not going to bend enough, so we're going to we're going to go a bit bigger. I want a mouth that can fit an entire character. Yeah, 
They're gonna eat the little characters. Mmm, tasty. Mmm. Salt and pepper and ketchup or tomato sauce. If you're in New Zealand, that would be called tomato sauce. I know if you're somewhere else, it might be ketchup or I don't know, chutney. Do you put chutney on them? I don't think uh, I don't think monsters actually use um, seasoning for their um, for eating their um, adventurers. They might. Would be funny if they did. <laughs> okay, so there's uh, um, as you can see. The, the tentacles are working out pretty well and all it is is just hot glue that I'm just whacking on. It's nothing to it. So now I'm going to make just a donut. Yeah. Almost stuck myself to my miniature. Uh, and then that's... Yeah. I know what you're thinking, Fred. It's go is it going to look clowny again? And I'm like, I don't know. It might. That has happened to me before. I've put things together and thought, oh, that's going to look scary. And then it's like, oh, my God, it's a cartoon character. No. I'm just blending these, these edges together so that they stick. And I will flip it over and do the same thing again. Just like so, just like so. There we go, there we go. Now, what am I using for teeth? I'm going to be using toothpicks. I'm going to cut some toothpicks and jam them into the putty. And I, I want them to... Oh, oh, that was sticking to something. There we go. Alright now, so I need to make a mouth somewhere odd. I feel like that is just way too... I'm actually thinking maybe on top would be more fun. Um, what are you guys... Voting time it's voting time for the miniature creation. Do you want me to position the mouth on top? Or would you prefer me to mount the mouth over here on the side? So on the side, this is... So on top, on the side, side one. So this is side one. Or I can put it on side two. Like so. I feel like side two is going to cause me a whole lot of hassles. I would appreciate you not to suggest side two. So is it on the top, side one, or side two? I would prefer not on the side where it's going to get in the way. So on top or on the side? Let's give you just two votes. Side one, Admiral Akbar has joined us and given his vote. Well done. Uh, Pierre Shaman, angle the mouth at 45 from the top. Angle the mouth from 45 from the top. You mean like that? You feel like this is better? Okay, I need three votes. This is interactive, guys. You've shown up. You're watching. It's time to vote. It's not a trap. Dear Jesus, don't tell, tell them that. It's not that. It's not a trap. It's not a trap. Tell me. On top, 45 or on the side? It's not, not, no. Stay on target and answer the question. I am waiting. We, we cannot wait forever. We, we need a response. Okay, so I'm... Getting my putty while I'm waiting for some people to actually tell me what I'm doing with the mouth. Where's the mouth going to do? And all I'm going to do is just make some long sausages between the tentacles. Well, it is going to be between the tentacles. Like, don't worry, I was going to put it between the tentacles. What's it, Where's it going to be? On the side, on the top, 45... I've got a, I've got two 45s, so the 45, so is it, is it here in the front, oh, 45, I need another one, I need at least, I need at least three people to tell me what I'm doing, otherwise I have, I struggle, I struggle to actually figure things out. As you can see I am rolling sausages while I'm waiting, these are my tentacles, mm, no, you, no, you this, you do, you've voted twice, Pierre Shaman. Pesham, Pesham, Pesham. It's two votes from you. No, no. It could be a different person. It's got to be somebody else in the room. Surely. Surely there's somebody else. Somebody else who wants to tell me what to do. Somebody who has an, a, a, an actual opinion. There must be somebody. Anybody. Anybody out there? Anybody? Nobody. Apparently. 
I'm just not that uh, not that interesting. Nobody wants to actually respond to me. <laughs> Sausages. That's right. Do not eat these things. Do not eat this stuff. It's not good for you. It's good for making miniatures, and it sets hard, but you do not want to eat it. Really, really not a good idea. Not a good idea. Okay. I'm continuing to make my sausages. These are going to be my tentacles. Uh, did you just roll a d20 and 1 to 10 side? And uh, no, 45. Uh, I don't know about that. I'm still, I'm still thinking I'm going to give people time to respond. I'm going to do some more of my... Um, whoops. It's fallen off. It's fallen off. Let's just whack some more of this glue along here. Just so that that's... A bit coated and then I'll coat this a bit more and then I don't know what I'm doing with the other one so I'll just fill some of these gaps that are still existing don't know why they are but they are so we'll just cover them like so well tell you this has actually been quite fun I'm enjoying myself <laughs> that doesn't mean it's going to look any good Fred you you have not you have not thought about this oh yes I have I have uh, you vote for the dice emerald. Okay, so that, um, now I've got to find dice. Oh, and no, I do have a dice. I have a big one. Okay, so it is uh, ten, 1 to 10 on the side. Um, 11 to 20 is top 45. Okay, here we go. I rolled it. I got a, f a 5. So 5, what is 5? Side. It's on the side. Yep, she's on the side. Bam. That's the side. We'll stick it there. And blend she's in. Blend it in. Stick, 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 stick. Stick that down, stick that down. Da, 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 da. De, 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 de. Very easy. Oh, nothing to it. Yeah, it's just, uh, seems to be sticking reasonably well to the um, the glue too, which I'm kind of pleased about. That's good news. Would have been terrible if it didn't. No, no, you know that you cannot use that word. It is gone. I'm hiding that word. Keep it clean. Keep it clean. Thank you very much. Ah, dear. I don't know. You gotta watch his language. We're on YouTube. It's bad enough. Have you not heard of the ad apocalypse? Have you not heard of channels being deleted? Cool, blow me. I'm trying to be very, very good nowadays. I was always, um, I was always reasonably good, but um, you know, all of the naughty stuff goes on to Twitch. <laughs> Twitch TV can have it. <coughs> and ma 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 ma. It's, okay, so we're it's working reasonably well. I'm just patting this down, blending it in. I can push this down a lot more but I don't want to do that yet because I haven't put my teeth in <laughs> and I need teeth on this thing I need teeth and a tongue uh, what's that dear Jesus uh, you should find a spear figure and have the chaos beast grab them laugh out loud no 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 I no, no. I don't have enough character miniatures nowadays it's one of the things that got stolen in, in uh, uh, when my car was taken so uh, yes no Character miniatures do not get eaten by um, monsters in, as a uh, diorama or even a, uh, a potential um, victim of, uh, of a chaos beast. That, 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 that can't happen, I'm sorry. Good idea if I had lots of things like that. I'd have to make a person to do that. <coughs> Admiral Akbar, you couldn't actually be uh, punished for people um, commenting swearing. Um, you'd be surprised, actually. Uh, uh, YouTube actually expects uh, people to moderate their comments and if you don't moderate your comments and somebody says something hugely inappropriate you can you can get into a lot of trouble um, and people have lost their channels or had them shut down so yes it can happen Da 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 Okay, so that that's not looking too bad. I'm pretty happy with that. That's not so bad at all. Um 
Okay, uh, what's it, Emerald? Now, let's take the tongue, and I'm going to just stick it here. No, I'm going to stick it to the side like it's it's coming out. Coming out of the, um, the mouth. So, we'll pat that down, blend that in. we go and then just tap around the outside edge to make sure that it's sort of stuck to the the lips do the underneath don't be telling me that this is too hard and you couldn't do something like this because not it's not hard it's easy Joe you voted I didn't see ah oh, 45 oh it's it's it took too long to come through sorry dude it's already in position now it wound up being sort of 45 to the side anyway I don't know if that's a consolation <laughs> but <laughs> oh dear maybe there's a little bit of lag on my part I don't know there we go there's my tongue and now I want to just put a, a little sort of Just a little bit of a uh, separation in a tongue to make it look like it is a tongue. There it is. Got my tongue. Um, now, before I get too excited, which is entirely possible, I'm going to stick more glue on my tentacles. Uh, a food sticking out of its mouth. Just kidding. Oh, yeah. It, it sounds fun. I, li I do like the idea. Okay, around its armpit. It's got deodorant, yeah. And then, what's this one looking like? This tentacle looks pretty good, but we're going to add more because I can. It's the monster's looking drippy. <laughs> okay, it's not that funny. All right, so uh, oh, a little bit more over here, maybe a little bit down there. Fill that out. Okay, so we'll leave the glue in. Oh, almost stuck myself to my uh, my miniature. And now I needed some teeth. So we we're going to use toothpicks. So I've got some toothpicks. Now this is the fun bit because I have to cut these and they're probably going to shoot all over the place. I'm going to grab... I'm going to grab an uneven number. I'm not going to stick too many teeth on it. If I get too carried away, it's just going to look a little bit weird. So different size teeth uh, and a big knife and we'll cut off these teeth and stick them into the uh, the lippies so what I'm going to do I'm going to grab the, 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 the pointy bit and then if I cut here it won't shoot off quite so far okay <clears throat> yeah there's tooth number one this tooth is looking a bit sad so we'll cut that Oh, all right, maybe I need to sharpen that knife. Either that or those are really, really tough um, toothpicks. Maybe they're just a bit, bit tough. Uh, dear Jesus, it's a chaos beast, so let the uh, the fate decide where its mouth went. Was perfect. Oh, good, 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 good. Yes, yes, you're right. It is, it is a chaos beast. Oh, and there's another tooth. That's a big one. And we'll cut a little bitty one because I still can't cut through that. Oh, you can you can see how little muscle power I have. Either that, is this sharp at all? Mm, probably not. And then cut this again. Ah, yeah. The teeth are coming along nicely. And then we'll whack that down like so. There's another tooth, and then ditch that. Mamma mia, mamma mia. Okay. <coughs> Yeah, making myself a monster. Pesham, every time I hear tentacle, it reminds me of enemy. Really? Tentacle, tentacle, tentacle. Tentacle, 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 tentacles. Here we go. Are you reminded? 
<laughs> uh, don't forget safety glasses. See if I've got no safety glasses. Yes, absolutely. Make sure you're wearing safety glasses. Don't want these things pinging into your eyes. Uh, uh, now spring loaded, all right. Oh, God, blimey. That one didn't want to give it up. Okay, all right. Got you, though. Break the toothpicks with the pliers. I, 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 you're right. I should have broke the toothpicks. Um, pixel location. I'm making a chaos beast. I'm trying to make something like this. So um, first things first, let's put some tentacles on this thing and make it a little bit wackier. Because right now it's got tentacles, but I feel like it needs more. It just needs more. Uh, do I want it from the base or want it coming? I want the tentacle sort of. Yeah. That's it. We'll, uh, we'll lay that there. Oh, there's a little patch on top that could be coated, so we'll just coat that now. And then. What's this? I've got to be careful about where where I when I decide to start sticking too much of the putty on because if the glue hasn't been atta attached and I still need to do that, it's all over, right? Over, rover. Put more on that tentacle there, and that's good. We'll just turn it upside down a little bit, add a little bit there. Okay, and what's this got? Let's just wiggle down this way. That's fine. That looks not too bad actually. There's a, just a patch there that it could do with a bit of glue, so I'll put some there as well. Okay, all right, now, where was I? I was attaching tentacles, if I remember right. And I'm going to lay one sort of wrapped, sort of roughly around the body, like so. Or oh, actually, maybe I'm going to go here. Uh, maybe, 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 maybe not. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. I'm still deciding, actually. I'm still figuring it out. Hmm. Um, okay, that one is going to lay from the from the back. Okay, so now I need to start whamming those things in place. But I'm going to stick the teeth in now uh, before that putty can dry. So we'll go, bam. And then if I keep working my way. I should have started at the bottom, eh? If I'd started at the bottom, it would have been a lot easier. Whereas I haven't started at the bottom, and I've made it more difficult for myself. And I think maybe these toothpicks are going to be just a tad bit too long, too, actually. I feel like the teeth are just way too large. So we'll pull some of them out. And I will trim them down a little bit more. Um, Chaos Beast. Yes, I'm making Chaos Beast. Chaos Beast. Okay, so that's a smaller tooth. And a Chaos Beast, smaller tooth, here we go. I didn't need to get quite so carried away. The miniature's not that big, right? It's smaller, not bigger. Size does not matter. Okay, yes. Uh, love. What's the blue girl? I don't know what that's all about. I'm, I'm not sure what you guys are talking about. I'm just trying to cut my little bits of uh, tooth back here. 
Wow, Millie Puck works um, good. Uh, yes, it does. Have to find where to some. Yeah, well, you can get it online, but yeah, if you can get it from a hobby store. There are other products out there other than Millie Puck. There's green stuff you can use as well. Green stuff is a lot more expensive though, which is why I tend not to use it for these builds. Um, use the pliers to put them in. Yeah, that's not a bad, bad point. I'll use the pliers. My first ever Gale Force 9 Mini came in the, the Zombie T-Rex. Oh, wow, that sounds like a lot of fun. Okay, so... Okay. That's good. And then... Party around there. To keep it in place. Yep. Okay, so that's got that one in. Let's do another. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, I will. I will eventually post it on Facebook. Um, I can put it on the community community uh, tab too for the channel. I haven't got round to uh, posting up the um, posting up the Earth Elemental, which I will. It's just I feel like I need to do a couple of other things. I'm I'm not really keen on posting it until I'm happy with it. I feel like he needs to be corkified a little bit more. I've got cork. I just need to spend some time to cork them. Yep, there it is. And okay, let's try the pliers. I need to get myself some. No, nah, I need to get myself some some tweezers. Some fine tools or either some very small pliers those are just way too big for what I'm trying to do fine detail hi Darren how's it going Fred went um, live during an afternoon meeting hey I'm sorry Darren it's all it's all about uh, a change of uh, sequences you might say and to be fair when I start my new job my timing and the, the days that I can do it are gonna change as well so I will let you know roughly, I'll do it in the about section so you can tell when I'm going to be live and when I'm not going to be live and when I'm doing certain things. But uh, new job, so new time times that I have to work and new times where I don't have to work. <laughs> Hang on, there's people coming home, I'm going to close the door. And I'm back. And where are we? I was applying the toolage to my my teeth. There we go. This is the fine detail part. Oh, I've got to be careful what I do. I eh? push too hard, and suddenly you lose control of it. Okay. Let's keep going. Working my way around. Uh, Fred, it's getting better and better. Excellent. That's exactly what I was hoping it would. I know. I know. People were like, oh, "We've seen some of your live streams, and uh, you know, very entertaining at times. You you lose your your stuff, but you didn't actually achieve anything hugely entertaining." And what you were trying to make didn't seem to work out quite the way you'd have planned and did you have a plan at all? Uh, things are working fine today. Okay, I'm probably not going to put quite as many teeth as I had intended into this because I think it's just going to get a bit too crowded. And I don't need to do that, right? Crowding it up is not going to make it help. Clear arms of the Chaos Beast look cool. Uh, gives me an idea for... Well, I'm going to paint that anyway. They, they are, It's just to save me using putty to form the, the tentacles. It is cheaper to use hot glue to cover those wires than to, to create tentacles. 
and that's one time where you can, you can get away with doing it, So, which is why I did it. Okay, that's good. Let's do another one. Oh, it's got stuck. It got stuck. And there we go. Let's work my way around. Mamma mia. Ma, ma, Stealth monster. How about an invisible chaos beast? Ooh, that just sounds just nasty. Course that could be the fallback for all monsters that could suddenly be wearing full plate armor and be invisible. It would be a bit cruel though. There we go. And we get another little tooth in here. I think we're going to have to go with the small ones rather than the bigger ones. Yay! Good one. She's she's looking she's looking awesome. This is not a pet. Do not feed it. You should definitely not feed it people or people that you don't like. That's just horrible. It's like a giant waste basket. And who knows what will happen to them. Mm. Uh, I am sticking one last tooth in there and that is it. I got two left so I got eight in there. I feel like that is an achievement in itself. Okay, now, now that that's done, let us grab, uh, now I had a little tool, where's my little plastic tool? I like this thing, and I'm just going to go and just dip, dip, dip around the lips. I think we'll leave the, the lips as it is, because it kind of looks more pronounced and scarier. If I leave it that way um, okay and I can also later on if I wanted to blend it in with glue um, but I'm not gonna do that right now okay so first off let's just check our tentacles because we've got um, I feel like maybe I should stick a couple more tentacles on here we'll see how we go let's blend these ones in that I've got with the putty And blend that one in there. So I want them to stick and stay in place. That's good. Okay, so we'll work along there. And I think what we'll do is we're just going to press that in place. I'm not going to mess with it too much because I'll lose the shape. And instead I will just blend in the initial bit of it so it looks like it's sort of still part of the monster and then I'll leave it alone it should still stick in place usually it, the stuff gets pretty sticky and it does stick okay let's bed that down a bit more okay that's one one done let's do the next one uh, I said, Darren, can I um, it feed feed it my, my my neighbor that blocked me out of my own driveway when I got home because that would be good a good thing. <laughs> have you got a, a drive? Have you got a neighbor who really isn't very considerate? Have you uh, considered having a chat with them um, and, and saying you know it would be it would be good if you if you could uh, not block the driveway. It's difficult when I get home to be able to actually park the car. Is there any chance you can park somewhere else? 
Okay, now I'm just about finished with the tentacle that's here. I am really tempted to stick another couple of tentacles on it so that it's got multiples of um, tentacles going everywhere to make it look a little bit more interesting and also too just sort of I mean it's got right now it's got about five tentacle thingies on it which is fine but I would like a few more uh, so let us have a go it just um, okay what am I going to do I'm going to just run my tool across the uh, surface and just rough it up a little bit so it looks a little less pretty I can't really do that with the glue but I can at least do it with these ones putting the detail in there I think is going to be more the the sloppiness of the um, the tentacles because it's going to be different type of texture to it because of the fact that I've used the, the, the hot glue instead okay let's just move that Yep, 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 and just tap it and 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 tap 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 Yep, okay, all right, so I'm going to mix up some more putty, but first I'm just going to do a quick check of my wire tentacles and just see if there's any spots where I feel like I need to cover it, which may or may not be the case. That's not too bad there, but is that wire showing? It might be. Okay. So I will apply a little bit more there. And a little bit there. And then I'll just stroke it in. And then I don't know what's going on there, but I want to put some there as well. And just stroke that in as well just to coat it and then I check over here it's a bit more there on the end there and then stroke that in as well and in the end it needs to be a bit more doppelly okay but yeah you might find that you need to go back over some of the sections some of the um, tentacles just to make sure that they're coated correctly because the glue does shift as it's hardening and all right okay so mr tentacle beast can stay there i am going to make up a couple more tentacles just to finish them off oh eyes we need to give it some eyes almost forgot uh, there's my eye there that I had so we're gonna stick an eye oh do I have enough no I need another glue stick grab that almost forgot the eyes uh, yeah we did that last time and he yelled at my girlfriend and then uh, wouldn't open the door when I rang that's um very immature of him isn't it so you've you've clearly got somebody who has trouble communicating. Signs of a very poor um, sense of uh, fellowship, eh? Okay, so um, glue on the eyeball in. deal with it later it's one big one and now I need some smaller ones so now you can embed them and hide them more if you want it's up to you I'm gonna stick one there And 
then a little bit of hot glue like so see it's working it's working Yo seven three two zero zero zero. Did you use washers? If so, does grey wash look good? Um, no, no. I'm. I haven't. Well, I haven't been painting this thing. I'm just making it. This is this is the construction process right now. Put an eyeball on the back because he needs to be able to see behind him. You can add as many or as few eyeballs as you like. Lifeless beady eyes, that's right. Exactly. Lifeless beady eyes. You got a little eye in there. Alright, I was going to use the bigger eyes, but I think one big bulgy eye in these smaller ones is going to look a lot better. So we'll stick with that as a, um, a working platform. And I'm going to stick another one on top here. Just a little itty bitty one. Okay, I think that's working out all right. And the question is, how many eyeballs do I do? Hmm, it's not out of place to you know, blah, 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 blah. Let's stick an eye. I think I'm going to stick an eye over here because it looks like a really inappropriate place to stick one. Yay! Mr. Chaos Beast, Mr. Chaos Beast, please don't not eat me. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Na -da -da -da. That's another one. Okay, and um, I'm I'm trying to decide how many eyeballs I want to stick on this thing. I've got one behind it, one over there, one two on top. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so now the voting comes up. I will leave the eyeballs for now. I'm gonna make up a bit more putty. I'm gonna put in a couple more tentacles. You need to tell me, do I need more eyeballs? And how many more eyeballs do I need? Um, I require at least three votes in the chat to make sure that I will actually do that, this sort of thing. Otherwise, it might not happen. Okay. How many eyeballs? I've got currently five. How many more eyeballs should I add? Zero, one, none, a ton? Let me know. The interactive hour has arrived. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm squish, So I'm gonna just squidge this stuff up because it's a little bit hard on the outside. So I'll just mix it together and then I'll cut off the other part and then mix those together, make my sausages, tentacles, and then stick them on. And that'll pretty much mean the end of our Chaos Beast. All right, now we want me to roll dice. 1d4 more eyes, laugh out loud. Okay, um, I don't have a d4 with me. So dear Jesus, I trust you completely. I would like you to find yourself a d4 if you can. Not a d20, a d4. Roll me the d4 and tell me the result. So rather than me rolling the dice, you can roll the dice. Then I don't have to find the d4. I'm, I am I believe, you know, whatever you roll, I will believe you. You seem trustworthy to me. You got a three. Okay, so three more eyeballs. Okay, so that's the first vote. I need two more votes on the number of eyeballs that need to go onto this chaos beast. You let me know. 
And since we are rolling a d4, I, I suggest, I, let's, let's go with, it, just grab yourself a d4, roll a d4 and tell me the result on your dice. I've got three from a dead Jesus, I, I need somebody else to roll a d4. Come on people, you can do it. Even if you don't have a dice on you, you have a phone. Pick up the phone, it's got a dice roller on it, I bet you it has a dice roller on it. Who doesn't have a dice roller on their phone when they forget their dice? Um, I know we've all had to make sure that that's on the phone. Otherwise, what happens? Yeah, you got to borrow somebody else's dice. Mm. It's not always the best thing. People, people like to uh, keep their dice pure. And, uh, you know, if you bring something to the mix, that's... Joe... Joe got a two. Okay, excellent. Thank you, Joe. Joe Smiley is put it in. Uh, Darren, what do you got here? I like, like, I have, I have like four different dice roller apps. Excellent, Darren. Roll me a d4. How many eyes? Is it gonna be two? Is it gonna be three? Is it gonna be four? Is it gonna be one? I don't know. You will make the decision. Because honestly, it doesn't matter. Wizard033, how's it going, mate? Welcome to the uh, the, the the fun 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 hour. We we I've been making myself a chaos beast. You can see chaos beast that is a real chaos beast that somebody else made, and my chaos beast, which is, I'd have to say, looking pretty awesome. Darren got a three, so that's uh, that's two threes. Come on, people. Wizard 033, grab yourself a four-sided dice, roll me a dice, and uh, tell me the result. We are deciding on how many eyes need to be added to the monster. Darren's got a one. Was it a three or a one? One roll from each person. I'll take the three. And three. <laughs> you get, Darren, you get one vote. You, you get one contribution. One contribution, not multiples. <laughs> you just like pressing the button, don't you? <laughs> I know it. I can tell right now. <laughs> uh, dear. For those of you who are looking at my... my um, uh, Mel. Mel showed up. Hi, Mel. Mel got a two. So I've got um, one... So two threes. You got a one. All right. The deciding factor. We need another three rolled by somebody else or another two rolled by somebody else. Or another, I think that's it. No, 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 no. Darren's not um, obviously um, chaotic alignment. That's not true at all. What makes you think that? I think everybody's a little bit chaotic at times. I know there are more people in this room. I know you have dice on you. Roll me them dice. Give me a number. I, uh, I've mixed my uh, my putty. I'm ready to make my sausages and my tentacles, but that hasn't solved the problem of the eyeballs. Come on, come on, roll me them dice. Uh, Mel, running around my house yelling for my wife to tell me where the the giant stack of dice are. <laughs> Sorry, Mel. Tell tell your wife it's not that urgent. It's not that urgent. <laughs> uh, dear. Okay, so this is going to be a pretty big. What's that, Darren? I'm CG probably with strong um, learning to uh, NG. <laughs> okay, what do we got here? Ah, uh, Joe's back. Okay, and you got a three. So Darren got a three, dear Jesus got a three, you got a three, that means three eyeballs. It is done, the decision has been made. Thank you very much. I appreciate the contribution. <laughs> you get to roll your dice once. I say once, did I not say once? I, mean, I think I did. I, I'm pretty sure I did. Maybe I didn't. Did I not make it clear? I don't know. <laughs> okay, so. Uh, tentacle time. So uh, one end has got to be pointier than the other and I want it to be not too long otherwise it's hard to sort of put on. We'll do this again and look none of this is super hard. 
any of you guys can make this. So if you're looking at this right now and thinking, oh no, that's that's much more difficult than I could manage you, you got to be kidding me. Seriously, what have I done that hasn't just been just messing around? I think it's been all messing around, truthfully. I'm the kind of person who does a lot of messing around. Okay, so let's... I've got to decide where I want it coming from. Is that, do I want it coming from there? Do I want it going back there? I, um, um, I'm having some decision problems right now. Deciding where I want my tentacles to be laying. I know. I'm going to I'm going to build one in there. And then I do not know what I'm going to do with it after that. That's not going to work. No. It's not going to work. Um... I'm having a, I'm having a problem, I'm having a problem, I oh, know, I'm going to, oh, oh I know, I'll, uh, I'm going to, no that's not good, that looks too, too obvious, he kind of looks like he's trying to stick something in his mouth, Looks fantastic. Good news. Good news. All right. So let's um, let's blend that little bit in there. It's a random creature, Fred. You do not need to get too carried away about where the tentacles are going to be. Seriously, what were you thinking? I don't know what I was thinking. Fred has a plus five persuasion, so you believe you can make a chaos beast. That's right. It's not persuasion. It's um, it's uh, it's the little Thomas the Tank Engine. I, uh, you know you can. You know you can. You know you can. It's not. It's not. I think I can. I think I can. I, it's no. I can. I know I can. I know I can. Okay. All right. So let's just make sure I've bedded this tentacle down so it doesn't come away on me and do anything weird and the eyeball I feel like this tentacle needs to be taking a different path so I will maybe I've flattened it just a little bit too much I will sort it out hang on get my finger in there if I can get my finger in there Deception. It's not deception. It's it's my commanding voice. That no 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 no. It's it's all true. It's got nothing to do with magic. Okay, that is pretty stuck on. I think what we'll do is we'll grab this tool, that uh, and make some sort of dent bits on it. I don't know how I'm supposed to do this. I'll just go like. Blah 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 blah. Well, it looks very technical, doesn't it? Hmm. Chunk, 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 chunk. Yeah. All right. So that's that one. I've got one more tentacle to stick on. It's looking very busy down here. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to stick one, which is in like a super hard to get location. And and he said it, and he couldn't do it. Can you do it? No, you can't. For it. Apparently, you can't. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Positive attitude. Rolling with advantage. Uh, bat me tentacle down, boys. Bat me my tentacle down. Ma ma ma. Oh, that's uh, that sounds like the kangaroo song. I'm not Australian. I am not Australian. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh dear. Okay, so um, now I've just got to figure out if I can get this thing to stay in place. And just patting it into position. 
It seems to be working. I've still got to put three eyeballs on this thing. And then I think at that point, it's, she's over. Anything more is just getting just a bit too carried away. I know what I'm doing. I'm going to just, I want to, that's, that looks quite good that way. I like that. That's, yep. We're sticking with that. I'm going with that. Uh, yeah, well, I don't know that many New Zealand songs either, and I come from New Zealand. Let's just go with one that we all know and I can't get into trouble for singing on, on uh, live. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday everybody. Happy birthday to you. I'm losing my voice so I know I sound terrible. Okay, so I have stuck my tentacle in place. And now I'm going to try to do some detail in a place that I can't get at. But it doesn't matter. Because it is a chaos beast. And it doesn't matter what you do with this thing. Because there's no right or wrong way to do it. Could it be this way? Could it be that way? You never know. Good, 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 good. I'm um, right. I'm, I'm almost done, guys. Almost. Okay. Tentacle creature has that. And now we're going to do the gluing of the three eyes. Um, have you visited the Lord of the Rings area there, Fred? Hobbiton? No, I haven't. It's really expensive. So, no, I haven't visited it. I have gone to... Um, for those, those of you who don't know, I did go to uh, Weta Cave, the Weta Workshop Cave. I went on their tour and had a look at their their, their back um, warehouse and all the stuff they had stashed out the back there. That was quite cool. I enjoyed that. But no, I haven't uh, I haven't been to the, the grassy knoll where the hobbits used to live or where they did the filming. All that sort of thing is quite expensive. And, um, yeah, so no, not I haven't done it. Sorry about that. I did a video on um, the, uh, the Weta Workshop um, cave, and I couldn't show you anything inside the, the tour because it's, they, don't, they don't let you do that, but they, I did take a, a little bit of video of the other stuff. All right, so I've got one eyeball, and I need some more eyeballs. I need two more. I've got a bigger one and a smaller one, and then my hot glue gun, and then wham. Wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. She's done. She's, she's done. She's done. Okay, right, so now I'm going to put an eye. I oh, know, there's, an, there's a space there. We can stick an eye there. Stick my eye. Put a big eye there. It, and now we just coat it so that it's embedded in a little bit. Good, that's eyeball one. We've got two more to deal with, and she's sorted. Um, just trying to find a space where there's a, a spot for oh, there's another spot for an eyeball behind him. So we'll stick one there as well. Put one right here. Oh, 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 that hurt. That's a bit, that's a bit, that's a bit hot. That's a little bit hot. Squidge that down. Here's my glue gun. You can have as many eyes or as few eyes as you want on yours, so don't worry about me. All right. That's good. All right, one more eyeball. Whew, I'm running out of spaces to stick these things. Um, um, yeah, it's a, that's a, that's an interesting situation, isn't it? Where do I stick the eye? I know, I'm going to stick one on top. There's still a little bit of space on top, and if I've got a whole lot of eyeballs sort of roughly in the same spot, it doesn't matter too much, does it really? 
and without burning myself and then give it a tool squash it down doing ta-da joe uh that's copyright by um frosty the snowman is it no it's not nothing's copyright by i'm pretty sure that um happy birthday is uh is can't be copyrighted and if somebody did that would be probably the most foul thing I can imagine anybody doing a human being who decides that no you can't sing happy birthday it uh, seems uh, seems terrible seems terrible um, okay right there it is amazingly I managed to um, I managed to get it done I uh, I got myself a a chaos beast I'll give it a spin so you can kind of look at it now there's nothing stopping you from uh, putting more gooey stuff on the bottom here so that there's less bits and pieces on it that show base so you can you can squirt whatever you like on there it, it, you know that's what the hot glue's for so that's one chaos beast ready to eat a character large size ready to go just uh, need to let him s set and then he's ready for painting after he's been sprayed and then voila chomp 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 and to give you some idea of scale you can see that um, the dwarf his head will fit in there nicely so dwarf and oh, uh, 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 there we go there chaos beast dwarf chaos beast tasty human so tasty human definitely going to get at least right up to the body um, head will fit you can get pretty much all of it in there not going to be an issue so uh, that is that is definitely going to work quite nicely for eating characters oh does your connection stink mate uh, that's not good oh no no mal i can't i can't do that no i can't you you're uh, you're you're just playing to my ego aren't you you're playing to my ego uh the chaos beast is born from the very stuff of chaos millipart paper clips foil wood and hot glue and don't forget the funny little colored beads because i did i used quite a few funny colored beads so for those of you who enjoyed yourself i'm great Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Please share and like the video if you had a good time. Now, uh, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of this sort of thing. I do this at least once a week. Not always making miniatures, but sometimes I'm painting miniatures. But it's usually once a week just to blow off steam and just have a good time. And you're welcome to join me. Uh, that'll uh, let you know when I'm live and when I publish new videos. Um, now, if you want to support my channel, you supported my channel by watching this very long video. I have many videos that are shorter than this, but also some very long videos as well. You're welcome to check them out. They're all sorts of different topics, not just crafting and painting and stuff like that. No, I don't do Patreon, and I don't plan to do Patreon for 2019, but I do have affiliate links to the Book Depository and Amazon. All of the materials for this build are down in the description. Uh, you're welcome to buy anything from the Book Depository or Amazon that helps support the channel, so I buy more stuff and do more videos and blah, 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 blah. You've heard the story before. And this is your opportunity to give feedback in the live chat. If you're not part of the live chat, though, you are welcome to give feedback in the comments section. And I usually respond to most comments unless they are really horrible and then I just sort of ignore them. Uh, but hey, till next time, keep rolling those 20s. And I don't know, it's, it's got to be somewhere. Yep, yeah, there it is. There's the 20. Yeah, go the 20. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, that's it. I'm going to head off. Uh, by the way, tomorrow is um, building better relationships with your dungeon master and other players. So I will, uh, I'll put. It'll be about 1:30 p.m. New Zealand daylight time for those of you who want to show up for that. And uh, I'll do my presentation and then open it up for questions and answers. 
you guys have a good night, good day, whatever it is that you're doing. Uh, look after yourself and your family, and I'll see you later.